American academic fired over Islamic painting showing the Prophet Muhammad. So the blasphemy outrage has now, woke blasphemy outrage has now reached America. Joy of joys. Okay. Recently, Hamline University, a private, a private liberal arts college, reportedly refused to renew the contract of an art history professor for showing the images of a medieval Islamic art piece depicting the Prophet Muhammad. This is in Michigan. Reports say that the professor warned the students in the online class about two minutes before showing the art, allowing students to turn off their cameras if they choose to. One of the students complained about the inclusion of the painting in the class. The painting was an artwork depicting the Prophet Muhammad receiving the first revelation through the angel Gabriel. The incident sparked an extensive media coverage and administrative commentary at the university, with Hamline University's Associate Vice President of Inclusive Excellence calling it, quote, undeniably inconsiderate, disrespectful, and Islamophobic. The professor was reportedly not given any opportunity to explain the lecture and the activities and no academic due process. The president and associate vice president of inclusive excellence of Hanline University wrote two emails regarding the incident in which it mentioned that, quote, the respect for the observant Muslim students in that classroom should have superseded academic freedom, end quote. PN or PEN America, a literary organization in the United States, wrote a statement on its website condemning Hamline University's actions toward the professor. Their respect is more important than academic freedom. Islamophobic. This is this is a look at this painting. This is a painting honoring Muhammad. That this, this is, is actually different than the painting that was shown. Uh, okay. Um, what was the painting? But it's very similar. Okay, what's the painting? Is it like a painting with has uh, the face covered and flames around the face? No. Okay, does no. it? Do you have it? Do you have the painting? Oh, is it this one? I can I can show you a picture if you give me a second. Okay, because that's important. No. Islam. Okay, okay. There's a delay between the, uh, your audio and what, I'm, what you're saying. Um. Okay, so. But Islam, okay, so Islamophobic, how is it Islamophobic? The guy gave you a trigger warning. The guy is teaching, like, I don't understand these people's definitions of Islamophobia anymore. Like, I mean, well, actually, it never made sense to begin with. But can you, yeah, let me know if you have the painting because I really <laughs> want to see this. I just put the painting in the private chat. Um, it's absolutely nonsensical. This is a famous painting that is by from muslims. the early 14th century this is a painting by, by muslims, muslims to record to record the history of the prophet this is regarded as a persian masterpiece of early paintings what was the air quotes oh um history i said his, you said history of the prophet Oh, <laughs> I did air quotes for I, I did air quotes for the history part, but go on. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, this is so basically Newsline magazine wrote up a very good article that I read online by an art history professor about how this is regarded as a masterpiece. This is taught across the Muslim quote unquote world as part of their history as a masterpiece of their history it's widely regarded as islamophilic because it's a you know positive towards islam in other words because it is supposed to be recording you know this story and in in um it was made or for the text of a historian uh, you know medieval historian going through muhammad's life to record everything about you know his first revelation it's one of the most important stories of islam um and so the idea that this is blasphemous and it's and <laughs> the person that made this decision or body that made this decision is ironically the diversity equity and inclusion branch of this university essentially hmm. and there was a really good petition that was put out 
basically asking the university to rescind the way that they treated this professor and saying that Westerners have a misconception that Muslims are not allowed to see depictions of the prophet. And that this conception is actually because they only hear from fundamentalists. And it's created a fundamentalist Western echo chamber that actually then curtails the ability of other Muslims to then learn about their own history. Like all these academics that came out in support of the professor that got fired said that you are actually inhibiting Muslims' ability to learn about their own history, to learn about Islam in a dynamic way. You're now saying that they're not, you're now dictating to them what is their faith. And now they may not feel able to speak up and be like, no, this actually is important for me to understand the depths of the history of my religion, which I thought was a very interesting point. Yeah, this is insane. This is academia. You're supposed to go and get, you know, learn things and get challenged and your ideas. You, you need to be exposed to other perspective. It's not supposed to be a place where people respect you. You know, you're supposed to be a place where you your horizons are widened. Your perspective is more. I don't know. It's just it's, it's insane because this is what academia like. This is people who are in academia are supposed to be people who are extremely eager to challenge these lines, you know, that other people draw, but they themselves are actually the ones now who are enforcing the lines. Um, anyways, we should move on. Oh, what do you have to say? No, and this is all supposed to be in favor of supposed diversity, equity, and inclusion. But this is actually taking a hardliner stance and then dictating to Muslim students what they can learn. And actually all students, non-Muslim students as well. It's insane. Um, when the instructor literally could not have been more responsible as reported about how to approach the subject matter. This piece of art that's like so highly prized within the, you know, scholarly field. Um, so there was this petition that came out that was published by a very, very highly regarded art historian scholar. And it's called um, Petition in Support of the Dismissed Hamline Instructor Wrongly Accused of Islamophobia. I think it'd be awesome if you guys go sign it. Um, I just put a link to it in the chat. Um, but if you are not watching this live or you want to find this afterwards, um, it's called Petition in Support Support of the Dismissed Hamline Instructor Wrongly Accused of Islamophobia. And I think it's important... Say that again, because when you say the name, when you said the name of the petition, your audio got cut. Oh my god! Um, it petition in support of the dismissed Hamline instructor wrongly accused of Islamophobia is the name of the petition. Okay, we let's try to uh, re go faster through the news because I want to make sure that your we have you for the rest of the news. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I was I was signing the petition, but I think I should do it later. I was trying to do it on my phone. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.